Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with a video and this video is going to be all about GNU Radio. I'm still trying to continue my series on GNU Radio Companion tutorial. Uh, so this tutorial we're going to uh, make a flow graph which is going to be based on something called amplitude, modula uh, amplitude shift keying also known as on-off keying. This is a very popular modulation scheme that is normally used for your garage door openers and uh, for your key fobs and things like that. Uh, even for your remote control cars. So the idea behind amplitude shift keying is simple that you have your digital modulation or your digital signal which is in a form of zeros and ones as you can see it here and you're going to modulate this signal on a carrier which is always going to be an analog signal. So always remember this that when you're trying to and modulation is actually a process in GNU radio which we call it a multiplication process. So this process in GNU radio is known as multiplication modulation basically. So as you can see, in, uh, I'll explain this flow graph in a little bit. So you're modulating your signal. Why we call it on off keying? As you can see, whenever I have a high pulse, you will see an entire carrier. Whenever I have low signal, which means zero, I don't see any carrier. Whenever I have a high pulse, which means one is coming in, you will see your entire carrier signal. So you will see a change in amplitude. The amplitude is remaining constant when you have one and amplitude is going to zero when you have when you encounter input bits to be zero. And then high, low, and then you have at least three, four, 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 four high bits, then you have your carrier signal. So this is basically on off keying. On off keying basically means at when you see one, uh, your in, in information signal is one, you'll get your carrier and you get zero, nothing, no signal when you have uh, zero. So on off keying, that's the concept behind amplitude shift keying. A very popular modulation schemes for like your devices, it requires low power and things like that. So how I can make a flow graph for this in GNU radio, that's the idea behind it. So let me just go to my GNU radio. So the graph is quite simple. I'm going to walk you through the graph. All right. Uh, just like in any graph, you will have your variable block for your SAMP rate. Uh, I'm using a variable controller to have a variable frequency and then samples per second and things like that. The first thing that you need is actually a vector source. So basically, vector source allows me to actually have a sequence of zeros and ones. So basically, so 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 just and where does this vector source is coming from? Uh, simply go here uh, here and type in let me just close this and show you control command f uh, and then type in vector source and this is where the vector source so everything all the blocks that you see are coming from your library which is here so block so this vector source is actually I, you can generate any sequence you want so you have zero one zero one then you followed by three zeros, then you have two ones, then three zeros and four ones. So basically it's generating a sequence. The given sequence, I have given this sequence is going to generate the sequence. So we're going to modulate this signal, digital signal, onto a carrier signal. So modulation, it's a process in GNU radio which is done by multiplication. So I'm multiplying my vector source and I'm multiplying it through a signal source which is always going to be a carrier signal which is going to be a sinusoidal form. So this signal is actually, uh, so this is actually a coarse signal and that has a frequency range, I'm calling it a variable called signal frequency that is given as here and it is going from, uh, so default frequency is 20 kilo and starting from negative 100 kilohertz all the way going up to 100 kilohertz. So this is my, uh, my uh, carrier frequency. Notice this, uh, that uh, I have a repeat block. Repeat block, what it does is actually, uh, so I'm calling it um, um, a variable called SPS, symbol per sec, uh, symbol, how many symbols per second. So I'm just telling you to re keep repeating this 100 times. Whatever this sequence is, repeat that 100 times. That's why I have a repeat block. You don't need to put that. I just put it so you can see that continuous signal. And this is also being multiplied together. So you have a carrier signal and you have your information signal going through a repeat block and you're just inputting it and multiplying it together. I'm also visualizing this block as well. So that's why I have my time sync there. Now the output, I'm looking at it in three different ways. I'm looking at a 
GUI sync. I'm looking at what is it being transmitted in a time domain form. That's why I have my GU TU, uh, time sync, which is actually your oscilloscope in physical world. And you have your frequency sync, that is your spectrum analyzer. So basically, so this is basically a transmitter. And I put a virtual sync there. Why am I putting virtual sync? So I can see their transmission. And in the same flow graph, I also have a receiving flow graph as well. So you can, like this, you can transmit this through your Pluto SDR and then receive it on using other device. But I'm just showing you in a form of a simulation. So uh, that's why. I have a virtual sync. So this is acting as a virtual sync. Now my receiver block is quite simple. Uh, now, once this virtual sync transmit that, you have a source, this virtual source is going to receive the signal because this uh, this virtual sync is in a form of a complex number. I need to have a complex to mag block that is going to convert this complex signals into magnitude, which means from blue to orange. That's why I have complex mag block. Then you have a threshold symbol. So basically threshold is this, that if you, if you encounter a voltage that is 100, it will treat that 100 milli. Uh, it will treat that as a zero and if you count anything higher than 100 milli it will it will take that as your as your a uh, one that's why I have this threshold block you can set this to any value uh, I try uh, you don't need to have it it's fine it works perfectly fine with this particular flow graph this was actually when I was using Pluto SDR and RTL SDR longer to receive it uh, that's why I have these blocks otherwise it works perfectly fine then keep one. So out of those 100 samples that is coming in, you're going to keep only one. So basically, you're keeping one out of 100 samples so you can display them. And then I'm displaying this in an output. So in a nutshell, so this is how, what my flow graphs look like. I have a uh, modulating signal, which is my information signal that is being modulated on my carrier. And I have a repeat block that is being multiplied together. It's being sent through virtual sync. You're also displaying this. Uh, visualizing it is being received by more virtual source and then I'm visualizing what is being transmitted so having that said let's just simply run this flow graph when I run this flow graph all right here we go uh, you know what uh, let me do this let me let me plug in my mouse so I'll be able to use the third button the wheel on the mouse to actually visualize the signal better now let me just click the middle button and stop this. All right. Now notice this. Uh, let's keep this aside. This is what is being transmitted. All right. This is being repeated 100 times. The same thing. Let me open. Uh, hold on a second. Let me open this. And let me bring this. Now check this out. All right. So we have... Let's let's start off from here. We have zero. You can see the zero. So we have zero, one, zero, one. Then I have two, three zeros. All right. And then I have three, uh, one, two, three zeros. Three zeros are right here. Then I have two ones. Two ones are given in this because uh, it's half of this. And then you have three three zeros. So this is about three zeros. And then I have four ones. Then I have four ones, and this pattern repeating itself: zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, followed by three zeros, followed by two ones, three zeros, and and four ones. And this is repeating itself. So this is what the sequence is. Now this is what is being transmitted, and this is what is being re uh, received. So we, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open this up. A little bit and you know what I'm gonna stop this as well so I can show you this so this is what is being uh, this is this is that signal that is coming out from my flow graph right here this is what you're visualizing right here after this so this 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 one is actually this and this it's what is being received uh, at the receiving end so let's let's look at it all right, now this is being transmitted. This is this is the signal that is being modulated. So let me just go here 
and I'll show you this. Uh, let me start off from here. Let me show you this. Now, as you can clearly see, I, it exactly looked like what we are seeing, that whenever I have high, you have your carrier signal present. Whenever I have low, there's no carrier signal present. This is exactly what is being transmitted. So just to visualize this. So I'm going to start off from here uh, because I have, remember, in my flow graph, I had like four ones. So let's just quickly look at it. Let's keep this here. And just to show you this. And let me just make it smaller, a little bit smaller. All right, let me just show you this. So this is what is being transmitted. And this is what is being received. So I have four ones. Then it's going to follow by zero one zero one. So this is what is being. So this is zero. No signal is present. So this is one. This is zero. This is one. Followed by three zeros. So you have a pause of three zeros. Followed by two ones. So these are your two ones. And then you have three zeros right here. And then you have four ones. And this pattern continues. Now let's visualize this on your receive signal as well. You have. Uh, let me just do it. Let me just. All right, let's look at it. I have zero, low, one, zero, one, followed by how many zeros? One, two, three zeros. So one, two, three zeros, followed by two ones. I have two ones here, followed by three zeros, one, two, three zeros, and followed by four ones. F followed by four ones. So we're exactly receiving the same thing. Uh, whatever is being transmitted uh, through my ASK, this is what signal is being transmitted. This is what is being received. Uh, all right. When you use a vector source, you will see a signal not like this is squared. The square is coming in because I'm repeating itself. But this, this is the same visualization. This is exactly the same signal which is being repeat, repeated back. Uh, which is being received just like this so this is actually the same representation of what is being transmitted uh, using ASK and this is what is being received and this is what is being transmitted in the form of a carrier so I can just this is actually my signal which is being received uh, so I hope you like this small tutorial on uh, ASK uh, modulation and demodulation you can do the exactly the same process uh, you can take any signals uh, and then you can just uh, use the carrier signal to modulate this frequency. So if you have any questions, uh, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.